Okay, good morning everyone. I'm very very happy this morning and um, having dropped my first video, introduction video, I was so happy with the feedback and the love um, you guys have shown. It's something I didn't expect but thank you very much and um, I will try as much as possible to give you great content and um, who learn from each other on this platform so um today's topic is going to be about um, apis as we always see so we'll look at the introduction why do we need um this api application program interfaces and what is the importance in our daily life so apart from um the fact that we use them in in tech but in real life, it has actually impacted our life daily activities. For example, I want to make a transfer to um, a friend in, let's say, Abuja, I mean Lagos. Do I need to go to the bank, fill a teller, then wait for the cashier to get things um, done before the money will be sent? Probably, if we don't have the computer or the internet, you have to send the money with a, a transport company and things like that it doesn't like it's so stressful so but now we have the internet we have apis that do that in seconds in matters of seconds then the person receive an alert there and oh you've been credited with such amount of money do you get now so that's how apis do and most times um the person might be using a system, a laptop, then um, I'll be using the cashier at the um, at the bank will be using a, let's say, um, a desktop lab system. And then he makes that connection and things like that. So, but these days we come to have um, mobile phones, mobile apps that we do it on our own end easily without having the need to go to the bank. So. We'll just look at an overview of what these things do so let's look at um i have some tabs open down here and the first thing i will go to check out is this one okay let's go back okay so let's look at the fields that we have apis for now um okay let's make a simple search we're going to do something now let's look for um most integrated apis in nigeria okay this is google search of most integrated apis in nigeria so we can see that payment is the first you can see payments most of them are payments all about banking and stuff so uh, let's say i go to the second one you can see you can see a delivery yeah a delivery messaging okay e-commerce okay just a lot about banking then we have the covid then um okay we have the google pay a lot of things are just on payments payment payments and um okay so let's go to number seven from google search oh okay Okay, okay, okay. Let's go to number 10. We can see that um, we just have a bunch of just payments, payments, payments. I'll just say, okay, we have one on crypto here. We have one on crypto here. So, okay, okay. So let's go to 14. Oh, nothing is there. So let's go out of the so now the ruling um this shows that the ruling um field where apis are being implemented or used is in fintech now we have the education we have the health we have the agriculture we have the law we have transportation i think we saw just one transportation api somewhere around the it's just so just one so there's a huge gap with the implementation and usage of um, apis in um, nigeria because i know a lot of other countries have special apis for their various activities so i'll just look at let's let's look at the next tab i have here and 
okay there's health i saw something here on health i haven't they are not that popular so i haven't heard of them so i have seen something like that on health then okay okay so let's now look at before we um continue let's look at why do we even need an api why now um api is just an interconnection between devices and um let's say i'm using a mobile device it's actually a database a central database where those informations are gotten from and sent across the mobile for the mobile device is sent across for your tablet for your laptop and um, other types of devices you may have so this thing make it easy data that are sent in json or xml formats as a developer you should know about xml formats let's let me show you something so xml um, formats. Okay. Okay. okay so you can see it's something like this let's look at the image um, Sorry about um, the network. So let's look at this. Okay, yeah. So this is an example of an XML. This is just an example, a clear example of XML. Now let's look at JSON. Most APIs are on JSON these days in recent times. So um, you may not have um, need for that, but should you be able uh, if you get access to um, a legacy code you can uh, see xml there so this is an example of a json file yeah this is an example of a json file so mostly a json array or something like that so um now let's now look at the next thing um wider reach yes let's look at amazon for example now amazon with the use of amazon's api you could actually set up a store on your own then build then sell amazon's products on your own platform with their api now it makes it wider amazon is not in nigeria yet although they intend coming soon but um currently they are not in nigeria and then from where they are with the use of the of the api you could actually build amazon store here in nigeria and people here can consume that api then they've actually reached us via that means you get now so let's now look at resources now it makes it easier for people to get access to resources you see things like um, instagram let's look at instagram um apis okay api you see that all the posts made by people your posts other people's posts you could actually get access to such information faster now where can this be implemented if we had something like an emergency um, platform where people can naturally get access to emergency reports or new medical news that they can actually relate that to people and say oh don't pass don't do this don't do that don't do this, this can actually save your life or something those are things that apis can be used for make life easier so okay 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 this is rapid api so i was looking at let me look at um, instagram.com dot com so um i think they have the developer section there so we'll get down to that over time so so what am i saying now you make it easier for people to get access to something like that you have a store let's say you're, you're a farmer you have products then you could create an api you have your own personal store then you create an api so okay you people can use this api to build apps that will sell my own products do you get now that will sell my own product so that's what um apis are for now apis actually motivate businesses like it makes businesses grow a lot of businesses will not work if not for nibs api nibs api look at pistack look at um, flutterweave all of them are riding on nibs api a lot of them all of them so you see now it has nips api has actually provided access for people to actually to um, improve their businesses make businesses to grow you want to make payments you have paystack you have interswitch you have so many of them 
a flutter wave a lot of them are there do you get now so that's what it is so <clears throat> it gives you quick access to information like i previously said then um secure path to resources yeah if you look at most api they have the token or encryption code that you'll be given maybe a public key a private key those are top uh, top um sec highly secured um, encryption uh, pattern algorithms that are used for those apis so it's actually identified that it's you that make that request to that api do you get now so those are like a few um um i would like call a few reasons why apis are important so i know some of you might, <clears throat> might be looking at building monolithic systems and stuff but the current trend is via api we have the front end and the back end stuff so that's just what um i would say about the api so please you can like subscribe and um let's learn more from each other and build a stronger community around um apis so thank you